Alrighty, my guys, welcome back to the Sapphire Randomized Nuzlocke. So, off screen, I trained up Jeb a little bit. I gave her a couple levels. Didn't really need to worry about Spoopy Boy much because he's level 9. But, uh, alright, let's get back into this. Let's go. Let's go see what, what Papa has in store for us. Let me. Try and avoid as many of these trainers as possible, because I don't want to level up my Pokemon too much. Just because I don't want to murder all of my encounters. <laughs> Calvin sent out Pinko. Go Gemma. Oh. I was hoping that would be doing more since I have huge power now, but it's fine. <laughs> Alright, fine goes, causing an uproar. Let's try Weather Ball. Because in this game, the moves are uh, based. The, whether they're physical or special is based on their type in this game. So. If you have, like, a normal type move, it's a physical move. Why does Ladybug look so sad? Why? Who hurt you? Alright, I need to avoid... I uh, almost messed that up. <gasps> berries! I kind of wish, like, the berries and stuff... Like, the shops and stuff were also randomized. Because I have the items randomized, but I guess they're not randomized. So. Alright. Onward. Let me avoid this last. Uh. It's Gemma's sister. I also turned off. <laughs> I traced the trace and she traced the trace. I changed it so it has um, impossible evolutions turned off. So that means like trade evolutions and stuff. So, I don't know how I'm going to evolve Gemma into Steelix. I just know that it does. I just know that I can. I just don't know how. I don't know if it's like a level. Like level 30 or something. Level 40, maybe? No, wrong way. So. Um, let me go get some Pokeballs. Uh, maybe some potions and antidotes too. Do I... My four bug walls. Five, five potions, and then five antidotes. Yep, that'll be all. Nope, I'll be back. All right, let's go. Let's go talk to Papa. <gasps> Papa, it's me. Hmm. Well, if it isn't Avion, so you're all finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Hmm. Then I guess you're going to become a Pokemon trainer like me. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Um, I... I'd like to get a Pokemon, please? Hmm, you're... Ah, uh, oh, right. You're Wally, right. I'm going to go stay with my relatives in Vernon Turf Town. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I've never caught a pug one before. I don't know how. Hmm, I see. Evian, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches the pug one. Wally, here, I'll loan you my pug one. Wally received a Zizigu. Oh, wow, a Pokemon! Hmm, I'll give you a Pokeball too. Go for it. Oh, wow, thank you! Would you really come with me? I suppose. Pokemon had in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! Now what's he gonna catch? <gasps> He's got a weeping bell. Uh, uh, Dad, I think your Pelipper turned into a... Or your Zigzagoon turned into a Pelipper. I would love it if, like... 
If the Weeping Bell used an electric type move and just absolutely murdered the Pelipper. Wait, the Pelipper's poisoned? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> the Pelipper's still taking damage. <laughs> That's hilarious. <clears throat> One, a two, -hoo, a three. Gotcha, Weep Bell's cut. Wally got a Weeping Bell. Does that mean he's gonna have a I did it! It's it's my it's my Pokemon! Thank you, let's go back to the gym. So, did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Uh, I think he used some arcane magic to turn your Zigzagoon into a Pelipper. Just might want to look out for that. Thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye. See ya. Now, there we go. If you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City, beyond this town. There, you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them, understood? No. Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day. But I don't wanna. But there's only but that's only after you become stronger. I don't wanna. I always remember him being like one of the hardest gym leaders because he's slacking. Alright, let's see what was my encounter. First encounter! Chinchow. Uh, flame body. Uh, fun. I'll lean it with some weather balls. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Fine. Nah, that's fine. I didn't hurt it any, so it should be fine. Fine. I do. A three. Ah, you tease. But it failed. <laughs> Just free swipes. Uh oh. Ah, great. Gemma, stop. Calm down. No thank you, sir. One, two, three. You. Uh. Uh. Do you have any normal die moves? I hope you don't have any fighting die moves. Two, three. Catch it. Thank you. Alright, what should I call you? Chin Chow's two antennas are filled with the cells that generate strong electricity. This Pokemon cells generate create so much electricity power it even makes itself tingle slightly. <gasps> hmm. Let's name you Tingle. No. Um You're supposed to be like a little angular fish with little light bulbs. Um Hmm. Let's do Tingle. Tingle's a cute name. Tingle. Alright, let's go heal. Eh! No! <gasps> Look at you! Serene Grace. Ooh. That's a scary ability. If it's the ability I'm thinking of. Alright, 
I'm actually gonna go battle these trainers now. Get some more money, level up, and a little bit. Or should I go get my encounter in the forest first? Uh, I think I'm gonna go do my encounter in the forest first, and then battle the trainers. <gasps> it's a dugal. Look at how cute. Stench. Ooh. <laughs> it's a stinky dugong. They probably are pretty stinky in real life anyways. They live in the ocean. <gasps> Two orange berries. And then your petchas, right? Yep, petcha berries. No. No. Okay. Awesome. I don't want to battle you. Oh, sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. <laughs> Better give me some of that money. I'm a champ. Uh, flash fire. Water spell. Ooh. That didn't... Uh! <laughs> That's scary. Uh -huh. Dragon breath. A chance, speed rose. Jam. <gasps> no. Wait. Wait. Okay. I was like, okay, good, we're, we're good. No, wait! Poison type was a physical move. Was a physical type back then. Finally! Boy. Let's use Confuse Ray. Get confused. <laughs> Drag breath. Hurt yourself, please. Spark! Ah! Really? Really? Well, at least I can't be paralyzed or poisoned. No, potion. No, I have 28. I thought it was 23. Dude. Dude, this my champ, which you did. Aww. Dude, to this my champ, which you did to the Chin Chow. Come on. Aha. Wait, yeah, yeah, haha. That was scary. Uh, spooky boy. Why couldn't I win? Because I'm better than you. Get Rex, son. Aw. I like camera up. I like Mega Camera up too. Suction cups. That's a weird ability. 
I remember I wanted to use the mega camera up in VDC, but I, I just couldn't get it to work. Alright. I got three Pokemans. I should have more, but no. Alright, um... Onward to the woods. And then I'll battle the trainers. To level up and get some monies. I know there's a trainer over there. On the other side of me. What do I got? Oh, him on Lee. Hmm. String grades. Mm. Paralyze? What? Oh, isn't that the f sky attack animation? Yeah. I didn't do anything. Can you paralyze him for me, Gemma? Thanks, Gemma. Alright. Nope. Pokeball. Falling up too. Mm. One, two, three. Aha! First bow wall. Alright, I got a Hitmonlee and a Chin Chow. Hitmonlee's legs. Hitmonlee's legs freely contract and stretch. Using these spring like legs, it bowls, bowls over foes with devastating kicks. After battle, it ropes down its legs and loosens the muscles to overcome fatigue. Huh. Yes. Um, I could just be really cliche and name it Bruce, but let's name it Kicks. No, Kicks. All right, let's go battle some of these trainers back here and level up my means. Actually, let me check. I already know their abilities, but they might have items. You stinky. Pokemon. Tinkle has an item. Ooh, dive ball. Flame body. Toxic, Odor Sleuth, Solar Beam, and Vide. Hmm. Source Dance, Smog, Bull Beam, Sky Attack. These are some weird. It just promotes added effects. Okay, that's what I thought it was. Run. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go battle these trainers, and then I should be at the end of the episode. All right, let's see. Pokemon. Let's let Tingle in the lead, and then let's go battle this last. Okay. And then there's an item down below, so I'm gonna go get that too and see what it is. Duck Trio! Uh, Solar Beam, why not? Maybe that's why not. Uh, whew! Take that, Duck Trio. Whew, okay. <gasps> Tingle Gear to level 6. Rhyhorn. I want to stay in. But Cakes also needs some, some love. Murder. Meow Bubble Beam. <laughs> I want to like picture like a Hitmonlee using Bubble Beam. Like <laughs> he pulls out like one of those little bubble wands. <laughs> Dang, everybody's getting some experience. <gasps> Excuse me, what is that? 
What? My dude. All right, let's get her smog. Gix about to come kick some of the butt. Sacred Fire freaking ho signature move. I ended up furthering your career. Yes, you did. All right, what are you? An apricot berry. I don't really know what that does. No. All right, let's go battle this guy. For alligator. Um. Solar wave should be fine. Oh no, there's a train. Uh oh. Pay no attention to the train. Come on, Tingle. Come on, Tingle. You got this. No! Whew. You get Swagger and Hydro Cannon? Aren't those moves that you actually can learn? Well, that's Clamp. But I can't switch. Great. Solar Beam. Tango! Excuse me, sir. But that wasn't called for. Haha! <laughs> Get wrecked. Tingle! Alright, he can't move. Oh, I'm not using toxic. Tingle, I swear. Alright, Tingle. <sighs> tingle, tingle, tingle. I confused one of my po one of my opponent's Pokemon earlier, and they snap out of confusion just like that. Dingle stays confused forever. All right, what's going on next? Flygon. None of my Pokemon can really deal with Flygon, except for Spooky Boy, of course. Oh, but of course. Alright, take a breath. Also, uh, not that this will ever happen, but in the, ch the chance that it does, I'm gonna say right now that Shiny Claws is in effect for this Nuzlocke. So if I happen to find a shiny bug one, I can catch it. Whether it's my last encounter or my first encounter. Um, just the normal shiny claws. And then for static encounters, if it's not the first encounter in that route, I will flip a coin. I'll use like uh, Siri to do it. So you can hear like, Hey Siri, flip a coin. Heads or tails. So, it's not like... Oh, he just caught it because he flipped a coin and he said it was... No, it's... I'm actually gonna flip a coin. Haha! <laughs> and 
And then, uh, like I said, static encounters. Um, what else? Just other basic Nuzlocke rules. If a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead. If I can only catch the first Pokemon in each route, I have to nickname them all. Just the normal. I'd like to buzz. Yes, I would like to change. Switch out to kicks. And hit this boy up with a sacred fire. Dang. Sacred Fire is a really cool animation. Ah! Get wrecked. Uh, 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 um. You don't say! That's a. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, so soon too. That was a crit. Water spout. All right, I think that should be enough for this episode. I might go and level up everyone else off screen for a little bit. Let me go back to Paddleberg and heal. Alrighty. Well, that's the end of episode two of the Sapphire Nuzlocke, and I hope you guys are still enjoying. And honestly, it would be a huge help if you could like the video, subscribe, share your share with your friends. I really don't want to do that and say like, hey, you should do this, blah, 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 but it would honestly help out a lot. It'll let me know if uh, you guys are actually enjoying the series or not. So... Yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.